This is Tony Schwery uh, from the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute, and I would like to give you an overview of the rationale and the schema of the METEOR uh, study in metastatic renal cell carcinoma. Uh, first, I would like to say that we do have several FDA-approved agents for advanced RCC. None of these agents are curative. The agents that we have target essentially uh, the, vasca uh, the VEGF, the vascular endothelial growth factor, um, as well as um, uh, mTOR. And when patients um, uh, stop responding to drugs that target the VEGF, such as sorafenib and others, this remains uh, an unmet medical. There remains an unmet medical need and many challenges. Uh, there is a rationale to target both VEGF and MET in fact, in renal cell cancer, and another interesting uh, target in this disease. And this stems from the fact uh, that uh, resistance to uh, the agents that target uh, VEGF can be overcome by inhibition of uh, MET, and MET itself seems a valid target in renal cell uh, cancer. One drug in particular target both VEGF and MET. It's an oral drug that is called cabozentinib, which showed evidence of anti-cancer activity in multiple solid tumor, including breast, ovarian, prostate, liver cancers, and is currently FDA approved for one indication, which is the medullary thyroid cancer. Um, one study was conducted, a small study in renal cell cancer of 25 patients that showed some encouraging clinical uh, activity in patients with metastatic advanced kidney cancer that have already progressed on multiple uh, treatments such as uh, sunitinib, pazopinib, and others, these drugs that target uh, the VEGF and the VEGF receptor. Uh, the response rate in the study was around uh, 30%. Based on that, uh, a larger study is now uh, uh, planned and uh, currently accruing called the METEOR clinical trial. The study will have 200 sites, and it's um, in uh, several countries. It will be an open-label study where patients that have already their tumor have grown on um, the drug that I mentioned will be able uh, to receive um, either cabozentinib, the study drug, the experimental drug, or everolimus, which is an acceptable um, uh, second-line uh, option uh, which is an mTOR inhibitor, an oral mTOR inhibitor. This will be a 650 uh, patient uh, study with the primary endpoint measuring progression-free survival like many studies in this uh, uh, context. And it will be offered mostly to the most common type of kidney cancer, which is a clear cell uh, kidney cancer. The study will uh, be open in uh, multiple uh, places, North America, Europe, Asia Pacific, and uh, uh, Latin uh, uh, America. Uh, we will also uh, look beside uh, just the efficacy. We will be looking at the duration of response, the safety of the drug, uh, and uh, most important, and some element of quality of life uh, with this uh, drug compared to Everolimus. We will be also collecting blood and tissue in order to try as much as possible uh, find um, uh, a, any biomarker that can predict response to cabozentinib um, in a better uh, way. There is no limit on the number of additional anti-cancer therapies patients would have received. For more uh, information, um, the study has a website. The website is www.meteorclinicaltrial.com. Thank you for your attention.